my husband's little sister came home from school and she just didn't seem right so you know we're asking her money are you okay is everything fine you know you having a bad day she was bothered by her day and long story short she told us that she had a problem with boys she didn't like boys she didn't want anything to do with them and so when i asked her why she said because of my dad so we said um okay wh why why because of your dad what happened and she just blurted out to us that for the past i i don't even want to speak it um however many years um he has been taking her after church on sundays during his weekend visitation he's been taking his baby into the bathroom in the church raping her um in the backyard of the church raping her inside of the choir room raping her and we had no idea that this was happening <laughs> So we realized, we found out on Wednesday night that this man has been molesting his daughter, which is my husband's baby sister, who is now 14. He, he had been molesting her since she was eight. Right after her mother passed away, this is what the man was doing to his own daughter. So I decided, because this was taking place in a church where the bishop of that church was not only... A rapist also um he had also molested his own daughter he had been raping his daughter his daughter so i know we know that there are other victims we know that there are other people other women other little girls other children that were subjected to both of these men. matthew has been arrested the father her father has been arrested he, he's been charged um we actually has him, have him on a recording admitting to everything um, we need to bring that bishop down because church should be a place of worship. Church should be a place of prayer and healing and restoration. Church is not, not being used for what it's supposed to be used for. Church has now become a place of fashion. Church has become a place of dating where people are coming and are praying on different people. And it's not being used for what it was intended to be used for. And I am sick of it. I am sick of it. And I, I don't I know that I'll probably receive backlash because it's the church. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I am sick of it. I am sick of the church being used for what it's not meant to be used for I'm just sick of it I am sick of it that place is not a church it is a place of torture for children and for years this has been going on and it needs to be shut down so I am coming to the state I am coming to New York City I am coming to the councilmen I am coming to the senators of this district I am coming to you and I am asking on behalf of this baby and this family that you close this church down because it is not not being used as a place of worship it is not being used for what it was meant to be used for it is being used as a place to lure children to be molested and to be raped and i am sick of it i am so sick of it i am so angry and i just cannot believe that this is the type of things that are happening in the house of god i cannot believe it I am so enraged. I am so disgusted. I am so disgusted. I am so disgusted. This baby was an usher in the church. She came to usher and was being raped in the church by her own father. Matthew Gibson and the pastor, the bishop, his name is Ben T. Gibson. The church is Progressive Baptist Church, 293 Howard Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. This, the bishop was raping his daughter. He's been raping women in the church. He's been raping little girls in the church. There was a child that had a baby and they thought that the baby was the bishop's. Because this man has used his calling to lure little girls and young girls to have sex with him. And now the, the son of this bishop was raping his own daughter, which is my husband's baby sister. And we've been raising this baby. And she's been raped for years and we had no idea. We had no idea because she didn't tell us. And I'm so devastated. So I pray. I pray that you guys talk to your children. 
Talk to your nieces. Talk to your nephews. Talk to your grandchildren. Talk to your cousins. Because this type of stuff has been happening in the churches for years. And no one is speaking out about it. No one is speaking out about it. They're just allowing this stuff to go on and cover it up. And they're just messing kids' lives up. The messing kids' lives up. Babies should not be subjected to sexual abuse from anyone, especially their own father or someone in the church. Kids should feel safe in the church. The church should be somewhere that the baby should feel safe to come and to grow up and know about the goodness of the Lord. Not to be raped and not to become victims of sexual sexual crimes. I will not sleep. I will not rest until a bulldozer goes into that building. That place is not a church. You cannot defend a church building. Not the church as a whole. You cannot defend a church building. You cannot defend this. It is wrong. I need people to come forward. I need you to come forward. If you were a, a victim, if you know someone that was a victim of Ben T. Gibson, of Matthew T. Matthew Antonio Gibson, either one of these two men, it's not okay for the church to be used in such a way to, deem, to, to tear a child apart like this. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm so disgusted. I'm so disgusted. I'm so disgusted. This is not what church is about. This is not what church is for. The Bible says a bishop, <coughs> in order to be a bishop, should be blameless. You should, you're supposed to be blameless. You're supposed to be blameless, and he's not blameless as a bishop. He is a predator. He is a rapist. He is a child molester, and he needs to be brought to justice as well. I am so hurt. I am so hurt. I never in a million years imagined that this was going to happen. Yeah.